Uh-huh. That's what the lesbians And then, too, what, one thing, too, I think that we need to do is yeah. we need to separate um, our attraction or the romanticism to women from right. consciousness and from revolution. Right. I got you. That's the problem. You. you know, I, I think that we all wake up. I think we this, this gender... This gender separation and, and, and awakening, um, yeah. I think, is it's something kind of superficial. Oh, I see. You know what I mean? It's okay. when are you know when are all women gonna wake up? It's when is everybody gonna wake up? Because it, it's not okay. so gender specific like that. The, okay. You know, you got some black women that woke woke up, and you got some black men that have woke up. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Um, That's on, and just because you may you may run into more women that have not woke up, doesn't represent the real numbers. Or just right, because right, you, right. somebody might represent more men that have woke up or haven't right, woke yeah. up doesn't represent the real numbers. Oh, so it's not, right. about, it's not a women versus men. Right. It's not separate like that, you know, and okay. it's being propagated. It's when we are going to wake up. I think we separated like that because people look within the conscious community for the purpose of dating. You follow that's and true. not for the purpose of waking up their damn self. Yeah. That's true. They're more concerned about trying to find a super conscious, you know, uh, soulful looking woman, huh? Right. right. Uh, you know, they spend ninety million dollars on natural hair care products. They're more <laughs> interested in that than they are waking. We really waking up themselves. They want. They want to. You know, they want an Afrocentric queen goddess. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. It doesn't have nothing to do with real social change or awakening right. of our condition and our people as a masses, as it do finding them a so-called conscious mate. Right, and right. people got to realize that has nothing to do your 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 fetish or your personal preference of me right. has nothing to do with black awakening. What's a period? Yes, I yes. see. But yeah, period, I can I ask you? Can I ask you a question? The effects it has a, the effects of slavery. I mean, isn't it devastating to most to most of our, our people? Mm-hmm. And it comes out in so many different ways. Because that was my point. Because it's like you know that was the point that I was trying to make. You know. Um, but the superficial thing plays plays into that too. But 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 how how do do we understand the woman that's 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 been subjected to that? You understand and being conscious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah man. But I realize that, you know there are women that are subjected and affected in many different ways. As oh, though yeah. there are men are, you oh, know, yeah. and there are those that are not. But to general to overgeneralize because of our negative experiences. It's to take okay. our eye off the enemy and to start okay. focusing more on, on on the imperfections that we have got caught up with within our own community. Okay. We can get okay. caught up on so called imperfections right. that okay. are not a reflection of the grand perfection. Okay. You follow? Because yeah. I mean I and I noticed even going out to that Atlanta protest, I saw while women were standing up for black men. What's mm-hmm. strange about that scenario is that a lot of some of them women of a large few of them were lesbians, but they were oh. standing up for the black man. So right. it's, there's a there's a line that's, between that's your need, niche and the relationship paradigm and individuals right. waking up to the reality of white supremacy. Okay, you feel me? And fighting yeah. for black liberation. Yeah. Okay. Wow. That's deep. Like I, 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 think, I think a lot of brothers need to. I think a lot of brothers need to reassess the the way they define themselves as men, first and right. foremost. Okay. And, and, and you know, like um, yeah. women are attracted to men that have direction and yeah. and that represent power. And it doesn't have to be a power that actually represents white supremacy. Trust me, if you build it, they will come. You know what I'm saying? So. Yeah. There's the whole support. thing is, I'm, I'm gonna tell you something. Like, if 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 a lot, if you're looking at women as being your second and you're the first, you know what I'm saying? This is for the men. Then you can't blame your second. You can't you can't blame you can't blame 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 a, the your woman if you're looking at her as your helpmate in that sense. Right. You have to actually take responsibility for everything that's going on around you. And right. take responsibility of making sure that you're intact in your own consciousness. You shouldn't yeah. even, like, the thing is, uh, even if you look at the African world, like I talked to uh, Africans, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And I thought this African man, he, he was telling me, yeah, like, as far as they look at it, you know what I'm saying? Like, the men, you know what I'm saying, they, they hold a woman to a high esteem, you know, when they get their wife or woman. 
But right. they actually want to take the, the full responsibility for everything that's going on in that family. You know what I'm saying? Right. Right. And the thing is, even if you don't have a woman at this point, you know what I mean? You don't want to uh, be dwelling on the fact that you don't have a woman and that you're frustrated. You know what I'm saying? Because it's going to show. You know what I mean? Don't mm-hmm. even don't even think on that. Get yourself together. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And, and become your because ultimate you self. You can't make it about woman, the woman, a woman. Yeah. You have to make it about consciousness awakening, you know, really right, awakening right. as a person. Right. Mark Clark died before he was 21, and he was a revolutionary mm-hmm. on the front line. Mm-hmm. I think one of the first people to die for the Black Panther Party was yeah, yeah. to find that conscious woman yeah, or the yeah. conscious queen. Yeah. But he yeah, had relevance in the whole exact mutation. And he, right. he didn't live to see that. To have that wow. super conscious queen, you wow. know that you're talking about. So how how does this relate? You know, yeah. you can you can be celibate and have have a super consciousness. You follow? Right, right. You can and contribute to the overall liberation of black people as a whole. Yeah, yeah. You know the fact that we have made it about you know dating makes us somewhat as which is somewhat a consumeristic approach. Well, okay. you follow to yeah, black yeah. nationalism. Right. You know, whenever well, you talk about dating, yeah. you're talking about consumerism, and you're talking right. about social economics, to be right. honest. Yeah. You follow? Hey, man, look, look, That's a prominent factor in mating, social economics mm-hmm. and consumerism. Right. Okay. That's what the idea is about. That's what getting married is about. It's yeah, about social true. economics uh, interacting right. interface. You're right. So you yep, can't, right. how are you going to be anti-capitalism but yeah, you kind of run yourself into a social economic interface. That's a very good point. You, very you're good lucky point. to find a woman that is anti-capitalism. You follow? Yeah. You, yeah. you know, you'll be lucky to find that in a capitalistic society. Yeah, that's so very you true. should suspect exactly, yeah. if you're on a mating hunt to run into these type of, cons, you know, capitalistic problems, these consumeristic yeah, uh, conflict and contradictions. That's a very good point. Yeah, man. That's on point. That's on point. But I mean, I already have a, I already have a queen, so I'm happy. But it's just funny, you know, that that, that all these different topics are coming up into play. But wow, man, that's deep. But you're right, though. That's that's deep. Hey, man, that's look, deep. look, look, look. You got a system. When you got a system that enables a type of behavior to where it's like you don't have to check yourself. It's almost like, well, okay, like they don't they don't hold accountability to themselves. It's just a, a, According to a system that enables that type of behavior anyway. So when you ask yourself that question, like, well, what do I need to work on? If you need to, mm-hmm. if you tell us something that you need to work on, you work on it. But there's nothing yeah, exactly. that you need to work on because shit is going accordingly their way due to, you know, the system that's enabling that type of behavior. Yeah. You know what I mean? Wow. So they need to break. They need to break that spell. You know what I mean? And notice that you know, and take the man's side because. They're using them as a weapon against us, and it's been working over a period of time, man. It's to the point where it's like it dissipated the family. We're not a unit anymore. Yeah. How do you unify? You can't even get your people together. You can't even get your household together. But you want to unify when niggas in the street? Yeah. This, but this is the thing that they've said that that nationalism and family. I mean, on, on sometimes you can't you you can't do them both. I'm about to, this is about to hit oh, some people here. Yeah. Because the Vietnamese, the Vietnamese had to leave their family and get in suicide planes in Japan. They had to get in suicide planes and and plunge to their death for the protection of the of the of their nation and their national integrity. They had to leave their family, so they ain't getting no suicide bombs to find their soulmate. So some of these ideas are counterproductive. (laughs) That keeps you under the institution of capitalism in corporate America. That's you follow? Because that's, that's what the yeah. idea of family is today. Family is going to the mall on weekends. Family is going to McDonald's. Family is, you know, and if yeah. you don't fit these social norms of what family is, then you're going to be attacked yeah. by society for not falling yeah. into the, the context of how a family is supposed to be. That's right. You follow? Right. You so it's, it's revolutionary yeah. to even have a revolutionary family construct. Which yeah. will put you in more under more fire than you would as an individual. That's yeah. just a revolutionary. <laughs> You're yeah. right. You're right. Yep. About that shit. That's that's the whole point. That if is, you're not taking your kids to the world and the mall, you are you are a child abuser. 
you follow yeah. in society. Mm. So, I mean, you gotta, you gotta understand what we're up against. So family, what we call family and the unit, the family union is a, a, um, fiduciary agent of the, of the hey. corporate institution. Hey, hey, yeah. hey, King you Noble. Hey, King Noble. Yeah, he's right though. Damn. Hey, yo, didn't you say, you said something about, uh, a man being homosexual, homosexuals for being under another man's rule or some shit? Yes, sir. I did say that. <laughs> I agree, though. I agree. When I heard that, I was like, yo, that's, that's dope. That's, I mean, that's, 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 that's crazy. deep because I never looked at it like that. You know, we are under another man's, you know, um, way of life. You know, we're so scared that we only pertain to this particular way of life that that's all we know. You know what I mean? Other than what it is that we've been shown, you know. But we don't bother to dig deeper to research to see if there's another way because we've been too in contempt gotta learn to govern with our yourself. condition. Learn to govern yourself. You'll be all right. You know what I mean? Damn, Kim, how, did you, how did you see all of that? How did you see all that shit coming, King Noble? I hear you. How did you see all of that in effect? You know, the, the, the way they just ripped up everything. You know, How did you see that? <laughs> For real? You said, "How did I see how they ripped it up?" No, I'm not, no, I'm saying, how did you hey, see yo, how who, the, the economical, who, the mental, all that plays into effect of, of like the family life? You know what I'm saying? It's like totally absolutely the family you know, idea in society is, is a Christian Protestant idea. It is not an African communal idea where the community took care of yeah. everybody. When you talk about family unit today, that is a Christian mm-hmm. Protestant concept. Mm-hmm. You yeah. follow? The That's a fact. Family. Yeah. Exactly. Yo, man. That shit is deep, man. He scared yeah. the practice. Too, I think man. it's about getting back to that pre-slavery group. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. That real community base. Like you say, everybody, yeah, they also, everybody. Also, you know you're going to feed your neighbor. If your neighbor ain't got no food, everybody's going to look out for each other. Yeah, exactly. That's how I was brought up. That's the way we, that's the way we brought up. Everybody honestly, up. the bottom line is, let me tell you, all this dating shit that niggas are talking about, real talk, uh-huh. in African community, you were uh-huh. given your wife. You you hear me? Yeah. yeah. You were given your wife in the African community. The, the community supported you in having your wife by, or uh, your wife or wives. You don't have yeah, to get on no dating line and, and you know what I'm yeah. saying, and flash and start. That was, that was yeah. So this whole dating I, shit, this is, a, this is American United States imperialism. That yeah. you, have to go, you, have to, you have to be approved by your master in order to have a woman. If you don't have his status symbols to show that you have su- submit and comply to his reality, then you are not going to be being with these women that are under his rulership, whether they black, yeah. white, Chinese, or whatever. Right. If you're going to follow man's law, that means you ain't following God's law. Exactly. Yeah. It's, either, it's one or the other. And they coming up with more and more laws to get, to get you further and further away from your neighbor. So that's why you see this coming. Yeah, but yeah. I, I, just, I, I would just want to say.